Bremer and Rolls-Royce Aerospace, two companies dedicated to manufacturing in the UK, but also precision engineering. This is a story about aviation. It's a story about time, but also about record breaking. I'm very pleased to be introducing the Bremer Ironbird. So I'm the project manager for the Excel project, where we're building uh, the world's fastest electric aircraft. So Rolls-Royce, of course, has a very long history in aviation, but when we look forward, we're looking at how do we enable more sustainable aviation, and electrification has a really strong role to play in that. Rolls-Royce, of course, you can go all the way back to the Type R engine in the Supermarine, racing at the Schneider Trophy. And really, we're building on that here by looking at what are the technologies we need as we go forward. So we've got 500 horsepower of motors at the front, we've got a full battery pack, we've got all the power electronics, we've got a full working cockpit. We've optimised it to get the fastest possible aircraft. So the, the current speed record is uh, 212 miles an hour, and there's a really prescribed route you go and you go and undertake. With our aircraft, the Spirit of Innovation, we're looking to go 300 miles an hour plus. Um, it's a very demanding course, uh, and very quite complicated for the pilots, um, but really tests the propulsion system and gets you to the point of knowing you've produced something very special. Originally, uh, when Rolls came on board, uh, we were looking at airframes. So we started looking um, over at America at Reno Air Racing to see what they were flying and there were three airframes that we sort of finalised or got down to and then this one which is the John Sharp NXT had a huge fuel tank, one big fuel tank that sat in here. It had a dry wing, a very thin laminar flow wing but this was just perfect. One of the biggest structural modifications is the inside of the nose where the battery will be. We're going for a removable tail because um, we're operating this under E conditions. There's going to be 6,000 of these 18650 cells in our battery pack. We are pushing the boundaries with this, this technology and it's great. I just love it. The aeroplane is, is, is basically carrying this powertrain. It's all about the powertrain. Um, you can see it's all, of it. it's all built around the battery case. The battery dominates the airframe and then effectively we attach the entire powertrain around the airframe. The composite ducts driving air in, so we're very fortunate when we're flying. Um, we've got lots of high, high velocity air that we can drive into these radiators. So we can be really efficient with our cooling, so the drag of the aeroplane from, from the overall cooling is going to be uh, much reduced over a sort of an internal combustion engine. The project started with just two or three key individuals and we went out and recruited um, a fantastic team and in the UK we're really lucky to have on our doorstep um, amazing individuals from automotive and motorsport. Joined 18 years ago as the chief test pilot, had a number of fantastic years testing lots of our engines, lots of our product. I'm now the director of flight operations for Rolls-Royce. Together with Steve Jones from Electroflight, we'll be the pilots um, for Project Axel, which is just incredible. It's probably the biggest thing I'll have done in aviation, mostly because of the weight of everything that's behind it. Lots of people have put so much work into this and it will, will come down to the day where I get airborne and, and prove the worth, the incredible engineering that's gone into this at every level. And, and, and hopefully, between Steve and I, break the world electric flight record. Technology is great when it's applied, when it's relevant. But there's a few flashbacks to perhaps aviation's past in that you know, we insisted on there being a, a chronograph, good old fashioned stopwatch, and Bremont delivered the goods with an incredible stopwatch. This is the trial version of the Iron Bird watch. Uh, incredible watch, it feels great. Very importantly, it's, it's this, it's the smart strap. So the app that we've been developing in Rolls-Royce for a number of years, has got a future thanks to, to, to Bremon taking that on and making it commercially available. And now it can talk to your Bremon watch. So lots of the future, a little bit of the past, all coming together to, to beat that world speed record. This is the first for Rolls-Royce because they want to produce the fastest electrical aircraft ever built. And this is the first for Bremon because we're going to use smart technology in a strap, which we've never done before. So this strap used on the Ironbird flight actually is a suite of tools to aid pilots to safely operate all types of aircraft. These tools range from checklists, timers and timestamps, but also uses the latest wearable technology to prompt a pilot about important checks and events during the flight. The watch has very much an aviation DNA to it. It's a GMT chronometer with two time zones. You've got this sapphire bezel which 
contrast beautifully with this very light titanium case. The crown is protected by this incredible crown guard which comes from the lugs itself. And if you turn it over, you've got this wonderful exhibition back with this chronometer movement protecting this anti-shock movement mount. And it's finished with a beautiful leather strap with side stitch. And the smart strap will be produced and will be available later on in the year. So this isn't just about mechanical engineering now. This is about where engineering is going to go in the future.